In this video, I designed Minecraft mobs into realistic mutants. They came out a lot better than I thought, so if you do enjoy, then please subscribe. First, I started with the Wither. You know, the one that has the three heads. I wanted to make it look really scary, has purple eyes, huge white teeth, and also going to have purple glow coming out of its mouth. Before I make anything, I have to find some references online, although this was a big mistake. Look at this. What am I looking at? In the end, I found a sketch and I thought I'd do something very similar. As you might know, a lot of Minecraft mobs have around 3 to 10 cubes. Mine doesn't have cubes at all. I'm starting off with a circle and I'm going to turn it into this huge yeah. monster. Let's begin. The first thing I did was to make the basic shape of the body. By doing that, I started dragging out a bit of its body and getting the overall shape that I wanted. And then I just went on to making the heads well one of the heads anyway with the mirror activator it made it a lot easier so instead of me carving out all three heads all i had to do is do two of them so whatever i do on the left side is going to happen on the right side it made it a lot easier so if the main body and the heads completed i feel like we are missing something and i think it's definitely going to be needing some details the first part of details we added was the teeth we had to make them look big and scary so that's what i did i dragged a sphere and i dragged it down a little bit to get that over all t-shape copied and pasted them so we could get them in the correct places and i thought it came out really nice the next major detail that we added was going to be the tentacles that are flying around this body to get this effect i use a tool called the snake hooks that i made if i grab the mesh and i pull it out then all the vertices and faces that are connected to that are going to follow it and it made it a lot easier to make the tentacles the last detail that i had to add was going to be the eyes that is very important this fellow needs to see so i added in a texture changed the color a little bit to be purple and there we go we have our eyes now to go on to the textures instead of leaving the model to a basic color i had to add some details and bums into the skin to make it look extra detailed and extra realistic i also did the same with the teeth so instead of them just being plain white i add a bit of a gradient to them so then they had a bit of yellow and also a bit of brown in there he doesn't brush his teeth now the few detail changes and a few hours later the model is complete i'm very happy how this come out it looks very weird but also very scary so i think we we did succeed on this one although we made one monster i think we have to make another one and nothing better to make than a good friendly slime this was a very basic one to make i started off with a cube and then all i had to do is just model it in a way that it looked like it was melting that is pretty much how simple it was then of course we can't forget the face that was just a few circles and different colors and then we have the face itself like we talked about earlier i had to add some textures and nodes to it so that was just making it look reflective and also a little bit see-through and then we have the the slime effect with some final adjustments and also adding some lighting we have the slime but how quick this one took i'm actually very happy with this one and also let me know what you think down below in the comments oh i also got a little bit sidetracked and i actually created this dirt block and a bit of grass i just had a little fun with it and i actually kind of like it for our next big project we had to make the iron golem as well for this one i've made it very basic i started with the basic cube shapes i moved them into position to get the overall look of the iron golem and i thought so far it looks pretty good i added a little bit more detail and added some ivy i thought it looked pretty good so far but i had to do some changes to the textures so i made the overall texture look like it had a bit of a rusty look like he has been run down a little bit and i wanted to make it look quite realistic as well so I added some scratches and indents and i thought that was the main goal of this model with the model itself complete i added some other things around it like the grass and a bit of glowingness around it and i thought it turned out really nice imagine seeing these creatures around in minecraft it'll literally be like a jump scare the next and final challenge for me to make is going to be the famous creeper first i had to make the basic shape and i started this by using a cube and then making the legs and also the body and head while i was happy with the shape i started smoothing everything out and added a little bit of shape to the creeper creeper so it wasn't just so square i wanted a bit more muscular look to it i added some subtle details like the pointiness of the feet and also the mouth i had it like connecting like it was kind of joined together of course the main head of the creep i had to make look very angry because his main focus is to blow you up so that's what i had to do i have the overall shape and model that i like so now it's starting to add some detail and also some textures to this model this time it was a little bit different because i added some textures with texture paint and i started painting over areas that i want different colors for example the eyes a little bit browner the mouth bit of a ready color and then on the body i had some darker greens and lighter greens over the body to make it look a little bit more interesting the final thing that i had to add was the eyes and i made it look an orangey red glow that would come out of the eyes and it would make it extra creepy and with that part nearly done i made some final tweaks to the body itself make it more muscular and a bit more detailed and we have the final result overall i'm 
very happy with the designs that I made today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy as well. If you did, then please like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see something like this again in the future.